This is the kit for a composite butt cork grip as you will receive it. It includes the blank, a butt cap, rear grip, reel seat, foregrip, winding check, guide set, and tip top. This is the setup for a composite butt cork handle. The first thing that you'll do is line up the rear grip with the blank and mark where it ends. Next we align the reel seat and mark where it will end up. And then finally we will align the foregrip where it will reside when it's glued into place also. Your cork grip may come with a 1 quarter inch or a 1 third inch ID and the place on your blank where it will need to be placed is 1 half inch in the OD. To get your grip to fit, you need to remove some of the material from the inside. This is done with a reamer. The reamer is a tapered device with grit attached that will remove the cork uniformly. You start out with a reamer that fits the inside of the grip you are using. As you ream out the cork, check it for fit on the blank to ensure that you do not get the inside diameter too large. You want the cork grip to stop right where it will be glued into place on the blank without forcing it. It will not hurt to have it slide a little past your mark as you will need some room between the rod blank and the grip for glue. After this is completed, you need to do the same with the foregrip. The one thing left to do before gluing the handle together is to remount the polyurethane arbor for the reel seat so that it fits the blank where your reel seat will be glued up. To begin with, select a reamer that is similar in diameter to the rod blank. The inside diameter of the arbor may require that you start with smaller reamers first to remove enough material to get it close to the diameter of the blank. Be very careful reaming this material as it comes off much easier than any of the core products we have previously reamed out. Use short strokes taking care to not remove more material than necessary and to also keep it centered. Be sure to check regularly for fit. When you have the arbor reamed to fit the blank, you need to glue it into the reel seat. But first you need to protect the threads on your reel seat from any excess glue that might get onto the reel seat during the assembly process. And using the masking tape, wrap it over the threads onto the seat. Now we will apply glue to the arbor and insert it into the reel seat. As you are putting it into the seat, twist it in a complete circle. This will ensure a good glue bond. Center the arbor in the seat and clean any excess glue off of the seat then allow to dry. Next locate the mark on your blank where the top of your rear grip will fit. Using the paste epoxy, spread the glue around the blank and down the blank to the end. Then take the rear grip, slide it over the tip of the blank. When you reach the point where the glue is applied, begin rotating the grip around the blank slowly as you push the grip into place. This will ensure a good bond and will help to fill any voids inside of the grip. Remove any excess epoxy that might have been pushed off the end of the blank by the grip.
Next, in the area you marked off on the blank for your real seat to reside, repeat this process with the epoxy glue. Slide the real seat with the arbor already glued into it, down the blank and into position. Then again, repeat the gluing process in the area where we will position the foregrip. Slide the correct winding check down the blank and into position at the end of the foregrip. The final part of the handle assembly will be to glue the composite cork plug into the bottom of the grip. Apply adhesive to the inside of the rear grip and rod blank, then with a twisting motion insert the cork plug. If your handle is set up, you will need to cut off the cork plug, flush with the bottom of the handle, and sand smooth. Now remove the masking tape from the reel seat and clean any excess glue from the reel seat and grip area. A good 91% isopropyl alcohol works well to remove the adhesive. Make sure that you check every joint where you've assembled a part for excess glue that might have oozed out. Be sure to check the blank for any glue that may have gotten onto it. Now locate the spine mark on the blank and sight down the blank and rotate the real seat so that it lines up with the spine. 